Hey guys, I hope you are all ready for a nice, relaxing, after dark clean with me and organize with me. This video is going to be full of lots of cleaning motivation and I hope you guys enjoy watching. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Allison if you are new here and today we are doing an entire house deep clean and I have a very fun new cleaning gadget that came in the mail yesterday from Amazon. We finally took the plunge and ordered a carpet and upholstery cleaner. So we are gonna use this on this very well-loved and used couch that our dog Bucky loves to sit on. So if you want some motivation, some organization, and some satisfying before and after shots of me deep cleaning the couch and maybe a couple other spots in our home, make sure you keep watching. All right guys, the entire video is downstairs cleaning the family room, the kitchen, our little dining table, and of course deep cleaning the couch like I hinted at in the intro. But I had one thing to do upstairs and that is take off all of our sheets, all of our bed linens. Bucky, our dog, climbed into our bed while I was already downstairs that morning. So Christian, my husband, was still in bed asleep. And so Bucky helped himself to my side of the bed and got dog hair and dirt all over it. So I definitely had to grab all of our sheets and bring it down to our laundry room to get that going in the background. I also started this video a little bit later in the day. It was like five o'clock, six o'clock when I started filming. So I needed to get this done first so we could actually have sheets to sleep in. Also, if you guys watch my vlog, you might have mentioned me share this little oxygen whitening booster from OxyClean. I'll have it linked for you guys down below. I have never used a washer booster or a whitener or anything like that, and I love this. We have so many white things in our house from white sneakers, our bedding is white, our towels are white, white rugs, so many white things. This comes in handy so frequently, and I am so happy that we have it now. And I definitely can notice a difference in it keeping our whites whiter. And then I moved on to starting to tidy up the rest of the downstairs. Pulling out my favorite wood cleaner, this Method Daily Wood Cleaner. It smells so great and I find that it leaves such a great sheen and shine on all of our wood stuff. I love to use this. But I'm wondering if any of you guys with dogs or pets notice that you have so much more dust in your house. Like I think it makes sense because dust is just like dead skin cells, dead pet dander, fur, all of that accumulates so quickly. But I find that our furniture gets so dusty so quickly in this room especially. So I always love to wipe down this coffee table semi-regularly especially because Christian and I like to watch some TV when we're eating dinner occasionally, or right now it's football season, so normally every weekend he's got football on the TV and we're just eating snacks throughout the day in this spot. This table had clearly become a disastrous catch-all with dishes and boxes and packages and all kinds of things left behind. And I also found a handful of dimes and I got these boxes from Target recently. They're from the Studio McGee collection. And I like them to be decorative and I was like, I wonder if I could use them functionally. And we used to keep a little jar with all of our coins in it, but I recently got rid of the piece of furniture that jar sat on and the jar was clear. So it was kind of ugly to see all the coins. But now I realize I can hide all of our extra change inside these boxes. Piece of art. 
Now moving into the kitchen, you can start to see through the windows that the light is starting to leave the day. It's getting even later in the day and it's gonna be dark soon. So that is why this video is an after dark clean with me because the bulk of all of this cleaning was happening pretty late in the day. Normally, I like to film these videos during the morning when there's bright and great light, but today it just didn't happen for us. We got busy in the morning and I had to push off this cleaning till the end of the day, which is also why there is so much stuff piled all over this house. Like here in the kitchen, this is a massive pile of dishes that I normally don't like to let get this big, but sometimes we all have those days where it just gets a little bit too much, we get too busy and cleaning the house gets put on the back burner. So during this time, Chris was out in the garage building our new dining table. If you are up to date on the saga, my husband Christian has been getting into woodworking recently. He built us a beautiful dining table and then he promptly sold it for profit. So he's actually building a new one that's going to go back for sale again. Hopefully we'll sell it because he has bought a couple new tools to make the job easier. So selling the tables offsets the cost of making them. But eventually I will have my own beautiful table and I will definitely share a dining room makeover with all of you guys. I actually just ordered a brand new area rug and I think this week I'm gonna start piecing together that space. I have curtains to hang up, we have dining chairs in there, we sold the piece of furniture that was in that room, all kinds of fun things happening in there but that video will not be out for a minute. And another house project we are working on, guys we are up to our next in house projects. The upstairs bedroom, our master bedroom makeover is gonna be coming very soon. Like that's the next project you guys will see. I have the paint bought for it, I have accessories purchased for it. We went to Lowe's this last weekend and bought new trim to go up on the walls. I cannot wait to share that video with you guys because it's gonna be a great DIY, semi on a budget, complete room transformation without having to buy any furniture. Now after all of those dishes, you can tell that our sink is a little bit grimy. So I'm grabbing this concoction I have. It's just a mixture of baking soda and like maybe 20 to 30 drops of lemon essential oil all mixed up. And I like to use this to scrub the sink when it's either a little bit smelly or really dirty. In this day, it was a little bit of both. So I put this mixture in there. I get my scrub brush a little bit wet and then I go in and scrub it clean. I have one tip if you're gonna make this concoction though, make sure you rinse every little morsel of it out of your sink or else it will dry and leave like a little crusty residue behind. And nobody wants a crusty residue in their sink. Also, I got interrupted in this video because it was time for Bucky's dinner, so I thought I would take you along for all of that. In this video, I also have a mini organization project. We keep all of our Ziploc bags and our grilling equipment and also our crock pot liners in this one drawer. And it was a little bit overwhelming because for Christmas, I got some reusable Ziploc bags to start trying out and they just weren't working in here. They were just kind of making the drawer hard to close and hard to work with. So I was gonna rework the Ziploc bag drawer and the drawer above it. And then you'll see I even go into the big drawer to the right of this drawer to make it all work because I wanted to have them easily accessible, but also functional and not overcrowded. So you'll see me trying a bunch of different ways to organize these spaces and then realizing I just have too much in these drawers to make it work. So I end up moving some things around and ultimately getting it to a happy place where I really like. But this is kind of the struggle of organization sometimes. I know online it can seem like when people organize a space they get it right the first time and it's super simple and every space is just perfect for organizing everything in your home. But that is not the reality. You can tell in this video I definitely struggled a bit trying to figure out where all these things were going to fit. But in the end it was definitely worth it. Cause when you see the sun, I see the moon, buckets of water, millions of clouds, miles of 
Once I had moved Bucky's dog treats into his little treat bin that we keep on the counter, I realized that I had a couple things that were sitting on this counter for probably the last week or so that were just cluttering the space and that I had just been like putting off tackling. So one of those things was one of Christian's old water bottles that you saw me rinse off and put away, and the other were these candle jars. I had popped the wax out of them, and I love reusing the containers the old candles came in, but I hadn't taken the time after popping the wax out yet to take all the stickers off and clean them up so I can put them where I store all of my extra organ organization bins, but in this video I was tackling it because I was sick and tired of looking at something just sitting on my counter waiting for me to do it. So here's a little reminder to you guys, if you have one spot in your home or little pile or certain things that are just waiting to be taken care of, go do it right now. It's going to take five minutes, it's going to feel so much better, whether that's a pile of mail you've been ignoring, a bill to pay, or like me, you have some candle jars you need to peel the stickers off of just so you can put them away. Go tackle that right now and your home will feel so much lighter. The lemon essential oil I use in my sink cleaner is also a great way to take off any sticker residue so anything that like peels up from a sticker or a price tag that doesn't peel up cleanly you just take a little bit of lemon essential oil and it helps lift it right up and that was the last thing I did to clean up these little candle jars and they were ready to be put away. After I've wiped all of the counters down and pushed all of the crumbs onto the floor, it was time to vacuum this space. Bucky has learned what the sound of like a spray bottle is, so he always comes running whenever I pull out a surface cleaner because he knows that it's probably going to be me knocking crumbs to the floor that he can clean up. But he was here to help me not miss any little crumbs and then also bring me this rope toy. Dog mom life is playing with your dog while you're trying to vacuum and get things done. Also, I guess a fun little life update, well maybe not a fun update, but Bucky is actually going to be getting some private training training lesson soon. Tomorrow on Wednesday, I'm going to be having my first virtual session with a dog trainer for Bucky. He has some issues walking on the leash and being a bit reactive towards other dogs, and we'd love to be able to bring him out on hikes with us or just casually walking around the neighborhood without being a little bit stressed. So we are hiring a trainer who is mostly going to train me and Christian how to properly communicate with Bucky, what kind of behavior we want from him. And then hopefully after giving us some homework at this virtual session, we'll have an actual in-person session with her in a 
dog park in a couple of weeks to work on things in real life and have him work with real dogs and seeing them. She said this kind of behavior is perfectly treatable and completely normal to see in dogs and that it will be some slow progress, but if we're pretty diligent about it, we should be able to overcome this. And I'm already so excited about the thought of Bucky having a less stress-filled life and me and him and Christian enjoying walking around in the neighborhood so much more. Here I am getting ready though to deep clean these couches and step one for this process is to take all the cushions off that are removable and vacuum all the little crevices Here I am reading the instructions, figuring out how to use this thing. I'll have it linked down below from Amazon. And Christian and I thought a lot about this purchase. It's not like the cheapest cleaning tool. There's probably cheaper ways to go about this, like little spot treatments. But we decided that this was the most effective way for us to clean our current couches and also keep any future furniture we get nice and clean. But basically all you do is add some hot water, the cleaning solution, and then you get to spraying and then it suctions the water back out of it. Now I am starting with the cleaning process and guys, there is a real learning curve with how to use this machine. So if you get one of these and you get a little bit frustrated, just remember it takes some time to learn a good technique and you will get better the more you use it. So this armrest is probably the dirtiest armrest on any of our couches. This is the side that Bucky likes to lay on and rest on and rub his face all over. So after I clean this armrest, you can tell I didn't do a very like deep clean of it. I realized after doing the rest of the couch cushions, I figured out some better techniques and I will come back to clean it a little bit deeper and guys I want to remind you stay till the very end of this segment because I think the most satisfying part of this whole cleaning process is seeing the gross dirty water and all of the dirt that I lifted out of this couch that's gonna be the very last thing in this video me emptying the cleaning bucket but basically I just want to remind you guys if you do go for this machine keep in mind there's a serious learning curve and you can see me learning how to use it properly and the best way to tackle these projects in this video Because of the slight pattern on this couch and it getting darker and not having great light in this video, it is hard to see a lot of improvement on the couches. You will mostly notice just where the water is being lifted out, it's not as dark there anymore, but you will see at the end just how powerful this little machine is and how much it can clean when I empty out the dirty water bucket. Christian also popped in here to remind me that this machine is kind of loud and it was a little bit later in the day so just to kind of wrap it up because we don't want to be those neighbors. I'm sure everybody has those neighbors that are always loud or always troublesome and you can always hear them and we try to not be those people as much as possible. Before I wrapped up though, I wanted to go over that armrest one more time and got a lot more out of it, cleaned it a lot more in depth. Like I said, there's a learning curve and you pick it up pretty quickly, but it does take a little bit of practice. And now 
here is the dirty water bin. You can just tell how gross it is. Ugh, I hate even looking at this. I'm sorry that grosses you out, but I am gonna replay it one more time to appreciate just how much came out of that couch. And that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys found a lot of motivation or found it relaxing and enjoyable to watch, and I will be seeing you guys in the next one. Bye.